Good morning from Nicosia, Cyprus. So this is Chef Andros Karalambos. Uh, I promised uh, that I will uh, make an olive pie and um, here we are today. I will um, conjure, I will perform a miracle and make uh, a traditional uh, Cyprus olive pie. And um, uh, first of all, I will uh, talk to you about uh, the ingredients and um, Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Marley. Okay. Uh, I will talk about the ingredients and um, for this uh, small baking tray, I think that this is uh, 26 uh, centimeters something like 10 inches um, in diameter. Uh, you see that I have uh, brushed it with uh, olive oil and dusted it with some flour so that um, the pie will not stick. So my ingredients um, for this size of um, uh, baking tray is um, a half kilo of plain flour, one sachet of uh, yeast, extra virgin olive oil, that is a half cup. Uh, we need um, 250 grams of um, uh, black olives that I removed the seeds. So together with the seeds, they were 250 grams. And um, 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 I am using um, uh, the indigenous um, uh, variety of olives that uh, we have in Cyprus, the ones that they produce uh, olive oil. Uh, here I have um, uh, two onions that um, I used that uh, half cup of olive oil and um, I did not uh, fry them really, I just uh, make them uh, saute to make them translucent. This is my personal touch as a chef uh, when I make my my olive pie. Right now I uh, fired uh, the, um, um, my, my stove so that um, I will warm a little bit because I did uh, fry the onion a few minutes ago but as soon as, as it becomes a little bit uh, warm uh, when it starts bubbling okay uh, I will add the olives and turn off the gas because I don't want it to be burning when I will be mixing um, my pie with my bare hands okay so the rest of my ingredients as we said we are using uh, black olives this is fresh mint which is a must uh, for, a, for a Cyprus uh, olive pie. This is uh, cilantro. cilantro. Cilantro is the green coriander that we use um, a lot in Cyprus in our salads and um, of course in this pie. Um, now you see that, uh, that my oil is, um, is warm. It makes the but I will turn off the stove. I will add the olives so that they will be um, warm. Okay. I will use a spoon because I want everything to be warm so that they will rise my dough when I mix everything together. Okay. So I come back to my ingredients. It is a must to use um, um, a green, um, a fresh green um, mint that I harvested from my garden. Um, a green cilantro or coriander. Um, and my other personal touch uh, to my olive pie is dill. So you don't find this. Um, in, in uh, traditional Cyprus uh, olive pies, 
But um, when my grandmother and my mother they were making an, an olive pie, definitely they were using more flour and less olives because they just wanted to give a little bit taste to the, to the bread so that uh, they, they had to feed the family. So um, I will show you, the, this, these are the black olives that I made um, about two months ago. So you see that um, um, they are ready. I have many more. And these are my sun-dried uh, olive, uh, olives that um, uh, 15 days ago I uploaded how to make sun-dried uh, black olives. So this morning I, um, uh, I opened um, uh, a knot and got the olives out of the parcel and I laid them onto a clean cloth and placed them in the sunshine. They started shrinking and they will shrink much more. Um, so um, uh, this is uh, just to give you an update of the previous video. But uh, after one week, I will upload another video to see uh, for you to see the uh, finished um, uh, sun-dried uh, olive oil, uh, olives. So this is my microwave and now I will reveal <coughs> how I made my, my dough. All right. Um, what I did, I used um, um, uh, a cloth and a towel. I made them wet. I put them into, into the microwave, I warmed them in the microwave, then when I made my dough, so this is my, my dough, and we are ready now to make the olive pie, but I will come back to the, uh, back to the microwave. What I did, um, I kneaded my uh, flour, my my dough i told you that i used half a kilo of um, uh, flour one sachet of um, uh, yeast and half a spoonful of sugar because sugar makes the yeast rise now the reason i put it in the microwave mind you the, mi the, the microwave was off when i put the uh, dough in but but the cloth and the towel they were warm and um, and wet, so they gave some humidity uh, to my to my dough to rise. So what I am doing now, I am using um, a clean uh, baking tray. I wash my hands. I get negative comments because I am wearing a ring. Okay, I am married, and I am wearing. A watch okay I want to watch the time but don't worry in the last 50 years I've been a professional cook nobody died so let's continue so I am emptying my dough into a clean baking dish where I will mix all of my ingredients together okay all right, I will spread my dough like this, okay? I will add my cilantro. I will add my mint, which I told you is compulsory to make this pie. You see I am putting a lot of greenery in here. And I am adding my personal um, touch as uh, Chef Andros, which is in dill. It gives a beautiful aroma uh, into the pie. Now, before you, you, you saw me placing the olives into the pan, this is warm. It's not hot really after a few minutes. But I will add... I will add the warm olives and the um, saute onion into the baking dish 
and I will not discard this pan and there is plenty of olive oil below even some onion that I will not you will see later what I will do with it so now what I will do I will mix my ingredients together and I will be folding all the time I will be folding because I want to incorporate all of the ingredients don't be afraid to mix it with your uh, with your hands you can always wash your hands later so this olive pie you will not see it ready but you will see it ready for the oven it will have to be cooked um, um, in a normal um, uh, gas oven like the one I have the one I have is um, a semi-professional and I bought this one when I gave up with my restaurant um, and I was uh, ret retired so I bought a similar uh, oven but a little bit smaller than the one I had in, in the restaurant so this is uh, for home use but it's got a big oven uh, sometimes um, we can uh, bake at, uh, at the same time uh, four of these baking trays uh, at once because there are racks and um, I can put two on each uh, rack and um, when I am cooking for my family I have four children I have eight grandchildren uh, sometimes I cook for all of them okay now you see that I have incorporated everything into my baking dish and look now what I will do this is a warm pan and it has some olive oil that I need I will take all of this all of this uh, um, the pie which is the dough together with the olives the onion the cilantro mint and my dill so what I, what I will do I am pressing into the pan to give my dough a perfect round shape so when I will uh, now normally normally I leave um, this pan uh, covered like this for 10 or 15 minutes before transferring into into my baking tray uh, my baking tray this one is aluminum I know that some people they will start um, uh, murmuring that you know this is aluminium is not healthy is not this is not that okay some others say that um, this pan is worse because it's coated and then uh, they find other excuses but anyway for this pie uh, it, it it's not advisable to use um, a glassware I would not say I will not mention names because it's not nice to make um, uh, a bad ad uh, advertisement, but but the, but glassware into the oven um, absorbs a lot of heat and it may burn the pie. So we have to use a light, a light, a baking tray. And if you don't have an aluminum one and you are using a stainless steel one, use a very thin one with with a thin base so it does not uh, burn uh, your pie in, in the oven so I will speed things up so what I will do now I will transfer my pie from the one tray to the, to the, to the, to the other like this I will press gently
like this to make it um, to make the surface even the same thickness in all parts of the uh, of the baking tray and now this is ready for the oven okay but I told you that I will not place it in the oven now I will place it after uh, a few minutes so that I will give it the chance to rise again all right so this is my uh, my traditional um, uh, Cyprus olive pie my personal touch was that I sauteed the onion so it makes the pie sweeter I did not add any salt because the uh, olives are already heavily salted okay and the other personal touch I added a little bit of dill so thank you very much for watching um, I will probably uh, hide from you when when eating it um, but I uh, I hope that uh, you make it one day and um, uh, be cautious so in the next days I will upload a new uh, video so that you can see my sun-dried uh, black olives uh, ready and uh, and I will uh, continue the recipe because I did not reveal all of the uh, secrets of making the sun-dried um, uh, olives. I will turn the camera on me. Hello, this is uh, Chef Andros. Uh, I wish you Merry Christmas uh, 2020 and um, keep watching the channel. Uh, yesterday I uploaded uh, a new similar uh, video how to debone a whole chicken, uh, stuff it and roll it uh, and put it into the net. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will be back with more videos. Thank you.